The constrictor knot can be used to fix the end of a frayed rope, to tighten the opening of a bag, to clamp objects together for gluing, and many other uses. It's closely related to the clove hitch. We'll talk about the difference between the two later. To tie a constrictor knot around an object, wrap your line over the object and back underneath it. Then bring the line over the object again, creating an X over the line. Bring the line back around underneath the object and over top of the working end. Then thread the line under the middle of the X you created. Cinch it down by pulling both ends, and you have a constrictor knot. If you have access to the end of the object, the twist method is the fastest way of tying a constrictor. Create a loop in your line. Hold the loop on both ends and twist the left side down and towards yourself, creating two loops. Bring the left loop around the bottom and align it with the right loop. This creates the form of the constrictor knot. Just slide this structure onto the object you want to constrict and pull both ends to tighten. The constrictor knot is often confused with a clove hitch, so what's the difference? Both knots begin by wrapping the line over the object and back underneath it, then over the object again, creating an X. Here's where the two knots differ. In the constrictor knot, the line is brought over top of the standing end and then through the X. In the clove hitch, the line is brought through the X without bringing it over the standing end. The constrictor knot is a more secure alternative to the clove hitch, but potentially harder to untie. Subscribe for more rapid knot tutorials.